Okay. Hi. <laughs> I wasn't flying. Okay, so before we talk about the future of Waterville Public Schools, I thought we'd look at the past. And we have some images here of some of my aunts and uncles who are all graduates of Waterville Senior High School, and my mother who actually graduated from Mount Marisi High School. Yes, it used to be a high school for all you Mount Marisi folks. Um, and that's me, that's a little picture of me. Um, so this is Lisa, who's not here. Uh, but you know, she. But these are her daughters, and now we have Waterville Senior High School now. And so her daughter Lucy is actually at Waterville Junior High School in sixth grade. Piper's a tenth grader, and Maddie's a recent graduate who's currently in Uruguay uh, before she finishes a year at Tufts. And so when we're thinking about Waterville Public Schools, we also want to think about what it used to look like. So who can forget Gilman Street School, where the high school used to be, or that Pleasant Street and Brookside, and the fact that 1,200 students used to walk the halls of Waterville, um, Waterville Senior High School. But the buildings are not, not alone in their evolution, because as we think about Waterville, we start really thinking about the changes that are going on in the city. And if you walk downtown, you can't help but notice that. So um, after an exciting discussion that Dr. David Green, the president of Colby, had about Waterville Public Schools, Eric Haley, who Hannah talked about, went to him and said, do you see a vibrant Waterville without vibrant public schools? And Eric and D David said, no, I don't. We need to talk. And Waterville Spark was born. And Spark sp stands for strengthening, partnering, and reinforcing community. And that's really what we're here to do, getting every corner to envision how we might enhance learning opportunities for residents at every end of the age spectrum in our city. So Spark's ambitious mi mission is to make Waterville a hub of educational excellence that starts at birth and continues through the lifetime. And a steering committee was recently formed with members all over the education spectrum from Waterville Public Schools, Educare Central Maine, Mid-Maine Adult Regional Community Ed, and then also our college partners, Colby College, Thomas College, Kennebec Valley Community College, parents, community members, and one brave high school student. All right, and so we're partnering with a team from the American Institutes of Research, who are a nonpartisan, um, nonprofit organization to facilitate this huge information gathering initiative for this phase one. And, and our theme is radical inclusiveness. And what that means is we're looking for voices from everywhere in the community. And so um, the AIR team has been meeting everywhere from the Alphon Youth Center to the Homeless Shelter to Kennebec Behavioral Health, the South End Teen Center, mid Maine Chamber of Commerce, and beyond. Um, some of you may have talked to them. At the same time, they're gathering information from all of the schools within the buildings with focus groups with parents and teachers and students. And they, they, this past week, they were doing observations all over the buildings to see what learning and teaching looks like in our schools. Um, in our largest, most exciting event um, came um, in early January where almost 150 community members came together um, to talk about the strengths, challenges, and dreams regarding education in our city. And the main theme of this wildly successful evening was what is, po what is possible if we all work together? Right? Um, it was powerful. Is anyone, was anyone there? Anyone here? Some of you? Is that a few? A few, yes, Hannah, I know. Um, <laughs> The conversations were rich, right? And um, after uh, everyone that was, in ten, uh, that was in attendance was able to share um, ev all their thoughts. And so the AIR team gathered 5,000 separate pieces of information. And for you research dorks, that's data. Um, and so um, they've also been, like I said, in our schools to see what our classes look like, to see what learning looks like. And right now, as we speak, they're synthesizing and putting all of that information together. Um, because we're going to have a huge community-wide data interpretation event um, midway through this month. I have more information for you later. And this is a strengths-focused in initiative, right? Because there is a lot about our schools that we love. Um, and I think the picture of Chris up here you know, really talks about what we feel like in Waterville Public Schools. Um, so we believe that by working together with our business partners, our pre-K and higher education partners, all of our community members everywhere, that we have a unique opportunity to re-envision what public education is in Waterville and to ask what is possible, right? How can we help our students and families achieve a deep, relevant education that prepares them for life in the 21st century? Because we know that the heart of healthy communities are vibrant schools, right? Healthy 
schools make healthy communities. Um, and that create, by creating meaningful partnerships, we can ta cha uh, tackle the very real challenges that we have. And we know that working together, there's nothing we cannot do because we have so many rich resources in our community, which we've seen tonight already, and you'll see more later. Um, and we're asking, how can we combine these efforts? What are we missing? And that we can make a provi profound difference for our students' lives. Um, and not just here, because we believe that if we work together, we can affect real change in the lives of everyone in the community, not just our students, right? From those just learning to crawl to those wondering, what, are we going, what am I going to do during my retirement years? Because everyone has a role to play to help us achieve this ambitious mission. Um, so at, we're at this juncture, right, where we can tackle some very real problems related to poverty, mental health, substance use, and educational attainment in our city. And when we, when we think that when education systems partner with other sectors, we'll be able to create supportive pathways for all of us to achieve this common goal. So this year-long information gathering phase is just the first step, right? It's a very long journey. We believe it's going to take years to get there. Um, but Waterville Spark is truly unique because we're creating our plan together that none of us are really sure even where we're going to go because it's coming from us. And we know we're in it for the long haul because we believe our community's worth it. So just like Spark, I couldn't put this together without all of these groups because they gave me pictures. Weren't those cool pictures? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I really think that if you're interested in learning more, we have a website, waterwellsparksparc.org. There's papers out back. The community meeting is on February 26th. Um, and thank you. <laughs>